We're currently at Chumley Castle, which is the Duke's Castle, aka Pins Castle. We are at my castle. This is Miz. Pretty exciting day. It's our first day on this location. So, yes, having to walk around like the Lord of the Manor. It's an amazing experience get to be in a real life castle where I live in California and like, you got these big castles and you don't see castles in California. Behold, the Great Haunted Castle. It's so British. I mean, as locations go, this is pretty cool. The castle itself is so beautiful. It's not just like your normal kind of like castle. It's got loads of greenery and it's like very open spaced and it just looks very magical. I'm filming the scene where I'm going into Pin's castle and seeing what's inside. That's the scene that I'm filming right now. We're kind of exploring and I'm taking the breakfast club around the castle just to show them all the ghosts and stuff like that. My favorite thing about filming Free Rain is probably getting to be on set with all the sets and getting to see the horses, because the horses are really cool to get to see in person. They're very um, interactive, like they come and s like sniff on your shoulder and they're nice, like they're very affectionate. Just getting him used to the boom. Anything that they find scary. Yeah, some of them they get over it quickly, some of them it takes some time. I've had two lessons since I've been here. Um, I rode Harry and then I rode Bob. Bob. So um, Bob is a really, more like a style horse. And Harry's more of that, I would call, like a pony teenager. Breakfast Club is a club that Becky is doing in the mornings uh, in order to pay for Bob's keep. Um, so she's running it for pins, so it's just about sort of younger people coming in that don't know how to ride. She can teach, teach them the basics. And if they want to carry it on, they can. Um, but yeah, it's just where they all collectively come together for breakfast and learn how to ride horses. We're getting along pretty good. It's uh, fun to get to know people and see new people and meet people every day, so it's pretty fun. The new characters coming in are all great, and really exciting. And having new faces kind of keeps things fresh, kind of think, keeps things a bit, you know, keeps things different, keeps things exciting. Aaron is like this prankster, he's funny, he does sneaky stuff, and he's always figures out a way to do stuff that you didn't even know that was possible. So Winnie is a lovely, bubbly, bright character. Um, unfortunately, she does get bullied, but she learns to overcome like her fears of riding and overcome the bullies, and she's like she's strong in the end, which is good. Yeah. All the backstories that we have with you know people from the first season and second season get almost flipped on their heads because there's new relationships and new sort of dynamics added to the stables. The so season three for Becky is really about her growing up a bit. You know, she's got a boyfriend, she's running a club. Uh, she's not really the kid anymore. There's new kids that have come in and she's kind of seen as the adult figure. She's now stepped up and she is now the teacher of these, of these fresh faces that have come in and it's really, really nice to bring them into the family. 